Okay, what we're looking at here is a Strength Shop Bastard Power Bar. It's a fairly pricey bar, it cost me uh, about £260. And it's uh, very stiff, it's quite nice, it's very heavily knurled. I really like it for bench presses and squats. But the problem is that this one in particular has actually stopped spinning. So, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to take it apart and just grease it up. And I noticed that there aren't many videos on the bar online, so I'm just going to show you guys how to do it and what tool you're going to need. Okay, so what you see me struggling with here is a snap ring remover. It's like a set of pliers and the prongs to the pliers are bent and they go inside these holes in the snap ring. And when you squeeze the snap ring, its diameter is closed and then you should be able to pull it straight out. Now, you're not going to see such a magically smooth removal today because I'm obviously struggling with it but I am at least honest. So you may find that a butter knife also helps you. Now if you can get one side to stick out just like this, you put the butter knife in and you just slide that around and that will pop out. That's not the correct way of doing it but that's how it happened this time. Okay, And there we go, it pops right off just like that. Now underneath you'll find uh, a very thin ornamental cap and a slightly heavier, presumably slightly less ornamental cap. You can just tip the bar up and there we go, that falls right off. Now underneath we have a 12mm Allen key slot. Now that's much bigger than you're going to find in your average set unfortunately, so you may well have to buy a new one just for this use. And now if you get this nicely locked up, put an old rag on the end and just give it a merry old tap with a hammer, that, that's how I'd recommend opening this because it's, it's very well locked in. There you go, tap tap tap. And then once you've got it moving, you can just go ahead and finish it off with your hands. There we go. Now this is the final thing, holding the sleeve onto the shaft. Okay, so once you've undone that, the sleeve will slip right off. And there we go, you can see the nuts holding it on there. So there we go, that slips off. Now, it actually surprised me a little bit to see right here that this is not a very complicated bearing at all. It's what's called a brass bushing bearing. Okay, and that's where there's a simple brass ring, which is slightly larger than the shaft that it goes around. And then with a little application of grease, the brass ring just slips on around it. It's just a simple two-piece mechanism. But when it's simple, there's less to break. So I'm not going to be complaining about that personally. So there we go. Now I do have some commentary to make on these nuts. You see this one on the left is quite worn down. You see where the thread is the shaft of the nut. Here's a closer look here. And it appears that there was a uh, building defect in the bar had some protruding uh, droplets of, of metal and they were scraping into the nut and tearing it up a little bit. Now unfortunately it's too uh, deeply recessed in the shaft of the bar for me to be able to do anything about it but it appears to have reached the apex of the damage it's going to be doing. So I just greased it up and put it back together and we're, we're going to go ahead and see how that works and my experience is so far it's worked much better. Okay, so I uh, hope that helps any of you. Please take your bar apart and good luck and good lifting.